I have with me here BenQ SW270C and in this video we are going to unbox it, show you what comes with the new display and kind of talk about the new display and give you some overview of it. In a few weeks I will do an in-dive deep depth review video of BenQ new and latest SW270C. I'm Art Suwansang, I'm a BenQ brand ambassador and an X-Ride Colorado. So to give you some background, BenQ SW series of display are hardware calibrated display that are designed specifically for photographers and creative professionals who need super precise and accurate colors. This BenQ SW270C is meant to be an upgrade to the SW2700PT. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox the BenQ SW270C. Um, a couple of things before we do the unboxing. Number one is that if you go, if you have actually handled this BenQ display by pushing this little tab in, one of the things that you should probably do is push this little bottom tab in on the bottom and go ahead and pull this out first this way. It won't block the uh, some of the cardboard from actually coming out when you're trying to disassemble the box. So let's go ahead and open this up. So the first thing that you open up to and you're going to be greeted with is SW series kind of feature thing, which is kind of neat. But what I really like about all the BenQ SW series of display and most of the BenQ professional line display, the PV as well, is that it comes with its own individual calibration report card. So the online factory calibration report card is really kind of neat because it tells us pretty much everything we need to know about the panel itself. So this one, it tells you like the color gamut, the DICOM, uh, curve result, the color gamma in general, and also just a report for uniformity and also the delta E value for this panel. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with delta E, the lower the delta E value, the better. In order for us to have a good display, generally we would consider a delta E value of below five good, but anytime you can get a delta E value of, of below two, you're actually achieving some pretty good result. The average delta E for this specific panel is 0 0.32, and that's the average for all of them. The maximum delta E for this panel in this case is 1.56, which I consider uh, it to pretty respectable in that regard. So as you can kind of see here, and I'll show this up on the screen as well, the uniform of this new panel is really good. Now what BenQ did in this case is that they divide the display into multiple different grids, and this is not a good representation of it, but there's some things that they have done in it. So pretty much what they do is they calibrate the luminance value of each individual grid to make sure that they all match up or as you know, they are as close as possible to the grid next to it. This is how they achieve an amazing luminance value or amazing consistency across the display but we'll do more testing to kind of see how that is so right now let's take this part out first this is part of the stand which i am going to be using in this case so this is the sw270c stand very similar to the other one i always like the handle here because i feel like you know this is like solid metal and I mean, it's metal on the inside, plastic on the outside, but it feels really good here. Um, and I always like it when I need to travel to the display or move the display around, just grab that and go. This is just pretty much the top assembly part. We're going to take this all out. So to the side. So right now, when we open the box up, what we are faced here, we have the panel right in front. We have the stand or the base stand part of it, which is here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, put it here. Set this to the side. We have the box of accessories. The smaller box is the accessory box. So it comes with the user manual, a little CD with the user manual, and it says Adobe Reader. So this is pretty much kind of, I think, the online user manual and kind of like a quick setup guide. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. We got the power cord that comes with it. We got a display port, to mini display port, and we got a USB-C cable here to link up with the display. And lastly, we got the new, brand new Generation 2 hockey puck. So the brand new Generation 2 hockey puck, it's really kind of cool. The thing is actually weighted now. It has a new dial in front. Same link up to the display. So we're going to be going, we're going to go ahead and test this out as well, which is going to be really cool here. So we'll set this to the side as well. I'm going to go ahead and put the user manual in here, leave all the other cables out for now. So what else comes to the display? There's only two more boxes or one more box in here. This is the shading hood for the display. 
So let's just kind of open this up here to cut it in pieces that you have to assemble it together, which is not that hard at all. Uh, we'll do that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. And lastly, we have the panel. So what I'm going to do here is, let's do this. Let's take this box down. Falling short or dropping our panel. And what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and let's link the stand up to the base. So what you have to do in this case is there's a triangle here and a triangle in the base. I believe you have to line them up like so. Twist this and twist it all the way to the other side. Now it kind of moves in place a little bit too. So just go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and tie in the screw. And it may get a little bit easier, but you still have to somewhat finesse it around a little bit to kind of get it set up. So right there, then and there. Pretty much done. The stand is, the base is already locked up to us. So this is the base model and the stand for it. This is the panel, the SW270C. So let's go ahead and take it out of the bag. This is really cool. So what I'm going to do here is let's go ahead and hook this up. So if you ever get one of these, you essentially just kind of like hook it up from the top first like so and just let it down like that and it should just snap into place. Now let's see if it doesn't snap into, oh, there we go. So when you get a display like this, the best thing to do is to kind of just literally come in here and I'll show you from the side. So when you have a display like this, what you do is you actually just set it up at an angle like so link it up. Now this might not snap in right away. You can help it a little bit by just pressing a button and now it's actually in really tight. So from what I can see here, this takes a lot of visual cue from the BenQ SW270, which is the 4K 27 inch display. It looks very similar. So yeah, this is the BenQ SW270C. If you take a look around this display itself from the side and including from the back side of it, you will see that the whole design of it itself is very similar to the SW270. So that's the case. Again, new shading hood uh, mechanism on there. So let's go ahead and set up one, a few more things. I'm not going to plug it in for this video. Let's just go ahead and set up the shading hood here in this case to kind of show us what this looks like. And the last part, the front panel goes in like a hook like this, very similar to the way how we put the display in the stand. We're gonna go ahead and hook it up like this and just literally snap these two in place and now you have it. This is a BenQ brand new SW270C. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention that I really like about this. Let's go ahead and take this out quickly. Is that as much as I say, it's very similar to the SW270. One of the other things too that I really like about this display is look at it. It's the Infinity display. They kind of took the exact same uh, panel and the design language from that model and applied to this one. So anyway, in a few weeks, check back at my channel. I'm going to have a full in-depth review of the BenQ SW270C and I hope that you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as well.